Okay, so on my team, we have Marksman, Tank, Fighter, Initiator, Assassin Mage, another Tank Support. Enemy team has Mage, Tank Initiator, Tank Crowd Control, Marksman, Assassin. Okay, and let's see here, we got Purify for Kai, we got Retribution on Selena, Retribution on Guinevere. Retribution on enemy Hayabusa. So I'm just going to be reviewing what my team did right, what my team did wrong, what the enemy team did right, what the enemy team did wrong. So we can learn. Okay. So their Grok, I think, Welcome probably carried the entire team. I mean, obviously, the, all the team work together. It's really good, but Smash their Grok them. and their Akai probably took their team to victory, I feel like. Um, their Hayabusa solo lane. We got Grok and Guinevere mid. We got Kerry and Akai bottom. Here we just have beginning level one. Grok's helping Gwen get the buff. Our Franco is helping our Kimmy get the buff. We have Leo Mord solo lane. One of the mistakes we made a lot was not ganking top lane, Hayabusa, as much. And um, forcing level one fights when uh, Guinevere and Akai were winning fights early game. So here we have Akai's overextended. Our Kimmy makes quick work of him. And then I believe our Kimmy started to chase after the uh, carry, but they backed off and decided to clear lane. It looks like we lost the crab, both top and bottom. So we're already getting that. Our Franco wasn't necessarily overextended, but the Gwyn forced a mistake. Caught him off guard. Early game Franco is not tanky at all. Request backup. And so here we have our Grok and Guinevere ganking Leomore to top lane. So we have three man gank and Leomore top. Uh, no assistance. They're setting up for Turtle. So the the tanks are forcing our Leomore back. And as you see, our team came to help, and they immediately stopped and reset the turtle to fight us, to eliminate us, and then immediately go back to the turtle again. Because uh, this game is cold hard math, you know? Um, you don't get ahead for no reason, but you get ahead with kills, gold, and all that. So. Yeah, and then our Lear Mord kind of can't do anything. So they won that first team fight for Turtle. So what our team could have done is maybe um, counter counter farm. So like they're forcing a lot of mistakes. The so here our tank was so low, trying to protect the turret all on his own against three here. He was low, probably should have recalled to just let the turret fall. Better to just let the turret fall than to give the enemy extra gold. And here again, Caught our teammates Launch off guard. Attack. See these, the Grok and the Akai were very good zoners. Constantly uh, pushing slain. back on our team, causing mistakes. Um, Franco, obviously very squishy early game. Hard to protect our uh, marksman and assassin. Obviously, he wasn't extended, but um, again, they just forced a mistake where, you know, once you get knocked out by Guinevere, what, what can you do? And here again, very good crowd control by Akai. Both of our tanks stunned. Uh, Selena's trying to help, but uh, the cooldown on her moves is too long. And our Kimmy has already been taken out, so then they initiated immediately as soon as they got the Kimmy. They started a fight, became a fair fight. Grok's high damage combined with Guinevere's knockup and carries damage. Daily combination. And then there's the Arlim our Leo Mord. Um, still solo top lane. Um, didn't necessarily do anything wrong, but he could have tried to 
uh, put more pressure on other lanes or help more in team fights there. Um, it's kind of hard to go against Hayabusa. Um, sometimes it's hard to make decisions like this when you're in a tournament against a really good team. But that's why we're making this video. Hindsight is 2020, right? So could have been nice for um, maybe to, to swap lanes, obviously, if he's not doing too good with Hayabusa. So here again, forcing a team fight. Uh, can't do anything about the crowd control. Again, takes the Kimi out. So the Kimi at this point probably should have been more careful because they've died four times already. Uh, Marksman is always a prime target. And if you know that the enemy Grok and Gwyn is being this aggressive, um, definitely got to stay in the back, try to farm up more. But here, this is also really good work by the enemy team. Uh, they're taking our buff and our farm as soon as we die. You, these are things you need to do immediately. So here, like I was saying earlier, our Leomard was doing awful against this Hayabusa. Um, our team should have adjusted or swapped lanes and or um, try to force more pressure elsewhere the since he's not being good there. The and here again, just forcing mistakes on our part. They are never afraid to tower dive. That is, that is very good teamwork. Team and with the two tanks, the they take turns taking the tower damage. And so by this way, we, we weren't overextending, we were being very careful, however, uh, both of their tanks were constantly tower diving, which would allow their teammates to follow up, um, to force us to make mistakes in our own tower. So here, look how low this Grog's health is, but he still went in to force kills, to force a team fight. And again, like I said right here, they're taking our farm. So, what could we have done in this situation? So by this point, um, it's a little bit too late, but the only things we could have done is try to farm the best we can, try to clear lane the best we can. That, that should have been our main focus. We should have stopped team fighting and focus on catching up and farming. As you can see, the Grok has uh, 5,000 gold and our Kimi, I think, has... No, actually, our Liam Ward has the most gold because he's been solo lane. He only has uh, 3,000. So, like, clear gold difference. Like I said, this game is just cold hard math uh, the gold causes your team to be more powerful which easily can get you ahead so here the Hayabusa is finally joining in on team fights after being solo for so long and at this point team fights is, is totally pointless they're forcing us back in our own towers so earlier in the game when we saw that they were being more aggressive we could have um, counter farmed in their jungle when we saw that they were constantly um, tower diving and constantly taking our jungle. Uh, what we could have done is counter farm and or counter gank, try to catch them off guard, try to force them to make mistakes. So this is very good teamwork um, over time. Uh, we did the best that we could, but clearly uh, we could not keep up. We probably would have needed to adjust either our team comp at the start of the game or uh, adjust lanes, like I said earlier. We would have had to maybe swap that Leomord top for bottom and or yeah so he could solo somewhere else because he was just was no use against Hayabusa. Hayabusa pushed all the way to base. In the bottom did a little bit better. Um, you can see here our tank is just clearing, tank's clearing solo here. Probably should not have been solo, somebody should have been helping him clear so that they can't force more mistakes on him. Um, so clearing lanes would have been look, all this jungle. We should have took all the all the jungle to try to catch up on farm. But here we're trying to force a fight there with carry. We should not have. Uh, we're totally under farm. At clear, see, look the there, turtle. our Franco died. We should have been focusing more on farming and clearing lanes. And here, look, this beautiful this grok. This is a wonderful grok. Look at that. Initiate that zoning retreat. there, pushing us all the way back out of our own turret. And then they just let the minions take the turret. And then here they're pushing and doing the same thing at our base. Very good work from, from uh, overtime. Like I, I, I've been, I set the camera to Grok because like I said, I feel like this Grok uh, probably carried the team to victory. Um, all of that zoning and setting, setting up kills for the carry Hayabusa and Gwyn. Very beautiful work. Um, not to say that our tanks are bad, I'm just saying that he did a really good job of forcing mistakes on our team, uh, causing us to do stuff we didn't want to do, causing us to die more. 
So here I looked the tank even at eight, one, and what was that? Sixteen. It was red. All right. 